Hey there, welcome to another Ask Emma. Today we're covering PCS coding for spinal fusions. This is a follow-up from our live event, The Backbone of Spinal Fusion ICD-10 PCS Coding, presented by Christy Pollard. Let's see some questions. Can you address more details on the review of fusions prior to October 1st of 2018? Do you have an example of something being coded incorrectly? For fiscal year 2019, the device character Z indicating no device was deleted from the fusion tables because a device is required in all spinal fusion procedures. The device can be an inner body device and or bone graft or synthetic material. Our recommendation is to pull a report of all fusion procedures that have a sixth character of Z and review the operative reports because they are coded incorrectly. Since all fusions require a device, either the device was missed by the coder or the procedure should have been assigned to a different root operation. If the incorrect root operation was coded, it could mean a DRG change that is a potential compliance risk. Cases with incorrectly reported DRGs should be recoded and reported to the payer. If you have a fusion with a cage at L5 to S1 autologous with non-autologous tissue, do we code both codes? Fusion of the anterior column of the spine using a cage with autologous and non-autologous bone graft is reported with a single code. PCS guideline B3.10C gives guidance on multiple devices used for fusion. In this instance, the device is coded as inner body fusion device. However, if a cage is used on the anterior column, an autologous and non-autologous bone graft is used on the posterior column, in other words, a 360 degree fusion, then two codes are needed. The first to report the anterior column fusion using an inner body fusion device, and the second to report the posterior column fusion using autologous bone graft. In the second case study you presented, you mentioned that you could also assign a code for neuromonitoring. Which code would you assign? In the second case study in the webinar, SSEPs, which measure brain activity, were obtained. This would be reported with code 4A10X4G. The use of this code is optional and should be dictated by facility coding policy to ensure consistent coding. How do you code placement of two cages into a single interspace? Do you assign one or two codes? Placement of two cages into a single inner space is only assigned one code. Multiple codes are necessary if fusion is performed on more than one body part or if it is performed on both the anterior and posterior columns of the spine. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to visit our marketplace for upcoming events. If you need additional education, check out the link below to our web-based training on neurosurgery and spinal service line. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on everything from the Haugen Consulting Group. We'll see you soon.